Hey, this eight to nine minute workout that I'm about to give you is great when you're traveling or you just need a home workout, but it's 20 seconds of work followed by a 10 second rest period. So very fast paced, you gotta get to the next exercise really quickly. I'm gonna give you eight exercises that you can do with this workout. And then again, it's 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds rest. Make sure that you're watching this video so you get the form right of the exercise. We're gonna start out in push-ups. Do not start out with your arms extended. We want you to lay on the stomach, get your hands back behind your chest, not out here, and then push the full extension and repeat your stomach on the ground, pushing the full extension. If you're a little bit stronger, again, you're on the toes, you're not gonna start out extended. You're gonna start out on the stomach, push the full extension, keep repeating that. You got 20 seconds of work there. As soon as that 20 seconds is up, you got just enough time to go ahead and stand up, grab your dumbbells. Guys, you wanna be at least 20 pounds here. Ladies, you want to be 8 to 10 pounds here based on your strength level. What we're going to do is squat down, keeping the knees behind the toes, and then we're going to press overhead. Notice I'm not stopping at the shoulders. I'm going right into the press motion, okay? So make sure you go right into that. Next motion after that, after 20 seconds of work, you get 10 seconds to just breathe a little bit. You're going to get set up for the next one. It's dumbbell rows. Give me chest up, shoulder blades back. Bend the torso and the knees a little bit, and then pull the arms straight back. Do not want to see these, this motion right here going on or a slump back, okay? Neither one of those are going to be effective. Next motion coming up, again, 20 seconds there, 10 seconds of rest. Then you're going to go right into jump squats. You're going to squat down halfway, jump up, squat down halfway, jump up, halfway and jump up. Keep the arms going back, forward, so you keep that momentum. You keep a good, smooth rhythm with that. After that, you got mountain climbers. You're going to get in a push-up type position. One foot in front of the other, and then just jump and swap these legs up as fast as you possibly can. Keep that big range of motion. Again, 10 seconds of rest after there. Then you're going to go right into lunges with the right foot. Give me a big distance in between the legs. Make sure that back knee is dropping straight to the ground. You can only move about four inches here. And then just pulsate that movement right up and down the right side. After that 20 seconds of work, you got 10 seconds of rest. Same thing on the other side. Back knees almost to the ground, four inches up and down. If you need some help with balance, you can put the hands right on these. The last exercise of this first circuit is you can go back into dumbbell rows again. We just showed you this one earlier. Should be pretty self-explanatory. Make sure that upper back is contracted. Now, if you're in really good shape, you can just go ahead and repeat another round without resting. If you feel like you need a little breather after this one, you can rest one minute. Repeat that one round. This eight to nine minute workout will burn a ton of calories and make you in better shape.